Hey, I'm Lucas Allen from King Tide. Uh, we're just out on Tauranga Harbour with the boys from Manic. We thought we'd run you through a few rods that we use on our charter boat here. Um, we use the Scott range, hatch reels. Uh, this is our little eight weight set up here for nice calm days we've been fishing. Uh, pair it up with an Airflow Flats Master line and you've got yourself a nice little weapon for the uh, shallow water. Another one that we've just pulled it onto the boat is the Primal Mega Range that Mannix put out, uh, paired up here with your Lamps and Cobalt, once again Flats Master line. Ten weight version of this, uh, we tend to throw big poppers, big streamers uh, around the markers and on windier days just deliver a bit more punch for getting flies out. And we also have set up here with the Scott Meridian and also the, the Cobalt once again. Really good performer of a reel, nice sealed drag, uh, really good waterproof components and good stopping power. Lovely little clicking system in the drag and uh, these will stop fish and make them work so that you can get them in quicker. Excellent reel, stand up to a lot of abuse. Tippet, we use nice good quality hatch stuff, uh, mostly in the 25 pound range, sometimes dropping down to 16 if we need to. Um, pair these up with some good knots, some good strong backing connections as well and you can go out and have a good day on the water. Most of our saltwater flies are tied on with a loop knot. I choose the lefties loop. It's quick, easy to tie, really, really strong and just performs really well. So I'm just going to run you through a couple of quick steps and a few little tricks just to get your knots looking nice and also performing, which is what you really want. So strip your line off, make an overhand knot. And you want to pull that up relatively close but not tight. Now you're threading your fly on, doesn't matter which way through. And then you pass this tag end back through the knot where it's come from. And this trick here is to pull it up right up till it's almost touching the eye. And then you start your wraps. One, two, three. Thinner diameter go a few more wraps and fatter diameter you can get away with two wraps. Pass it back through the knot that you've created initially, that you've passed through. Pull it tight and that should slide out just so it's open enough and it's not going to be able to run the risk of getting hooked up over the dumbbell eyes, in particular with fishing clouses and, and things that have got these dumbbell eyes. Pull it a little bit tight, push the knot down and you're away laughing. Trim it off with a little bit of a tag end and you're in business. And that just allows just that little bit of extra movement, particularly on these flies on the paws, they'll, they'll dive and they'll pick up again, they'll, they'll get a nice erratic swimming motion which hopefully should spark the fish into a, an eat. Uh, we're going to talk about fly selection, it's quite a, a bit of a minefield once you get into it, but if you want a good starting point, the clouser um, imitates anything and everything, depending on how you fish it, where you fish it, your depth, um, fish will take these readily, get yourself a couple of these, chartreuse and white's a good starting point and natural colours too. Um, really good flyer, this will, this will perform 95% of my work on the boat. Um, failing that we go, we move into streamers and bigger flies, more specific, this one is the King Tide Rattle Piper. Got a little rattle in it um, and that'll just give that little bit of an extra edge to stir the fish up. We also have the King Tide Rattle Pop, uh, that's a nice rowdy little number for throwing around the markers and trying to stir the fish up. Kingfish react really well to a lot of noise and commotion, so these here create quite a lot of hype. And we just have a nice uh, bigger manic party popper here for making even more noise, big cupped face on it, and uh, that'll get fish coming up from deep and in for some serious investigations. CNF make a really good range of waterproof fly boxes, something that's quite important when you're fishing on the flats. You don't want salt water getting into your box and ruining your whole stash of flies. Um, I'm quite vigilant about taking one out and once it's full of salt I don't put it back in here. Nice good sturdy foam slots, they're not going to part ways on you and you can store a good selection of flies through here, nice and deep so even your popper range right through to your smaller flies will be accommodated. Excellent fly box, get one.